Hey! Dun, 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 What's dun, up, guys? Good to see you. I can't see you, but I'm pretending I can see you. It's great to be back <laughs> here with you all. And we're here to do our thing. We're here to update you. David has been doing mm -hmm. an excellent job the past several weeks updating Thank you me. on what's going on in advance. Thank you, David. And thank you, Brandon, so much for all the support you've given me while you've been away. It is so good to have you back. It's good to be here, and we are kicking off a new month, and we have a fantastic article. Yes. It's an education article. It's called yeah. Learners for Life. Yeah, it's like, it's a great, it's one of my favorite kinds of articles. It's like two articles, it's like two topics at once, education and inspiration. Mm. It's about a gentleman who was uh, served a very long prison sentence for second degree murder. Find out what that is in our specialized terms. Mm. And after going to prison, he turned his life around, became a man of faith, a follower of Jesus, and decided to pursue a degree at yeah. seminary. It is an inspiring story. You know, David, sometimes we look at this and we look at people and we think, oh, maybe they have no hope, right? Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is we've all done things in our lives, maybe hopefully not, not murder, but we've all <laughs> done things that we wish we would not have done. That's right. And we can grow from those things. But I like in our article, it talks about not letting your past uh, to define you. That's right. Not being defined by your past, not letting the mistakes that you've made in the past just ruin or twist your whole life. Of course there are consequences, but as we see in the example of our article, even the worst choices you make can have times of renewal. You can still be made new by making better choices and by changing your life around. So we'd like to ask you guys about that. There's a great quote in the article saying that uh, this, this guy is more than his past. He doesn't mm -hmm. always have to live in the shadow of his greatest mistakes. So what do you guys think of that? Do you think people can be released from the mistakes of the past? Or do you think that we're always stuck if we make the wrong choice? Yeah, sometimes we get so focused on something we did wrong that we can't move on. That's right. right. And it, That's right. it hinders us, right? right? And we have to have a change of mind and a transformation. That's right. And we really do hope that you guys can take this to heart and think of how you can apply it in your own life. And do something else. It's fall. Enjoy the beautiful, uh, cooler temperatures. That's right. Yeah. Go out to the mountains or something. Don't stick around. We're really, we, can, we can leave the house now. Absolutely. Right? Things are getting better. Go out to the mountains. Have a good time. Be with some people you love. The seasons are changing. The earth is turning. Let's... Ah, let's celebrate. <laughs> That's right. And enjoy our radio programs this week and all we have to offer. Check out our articles as well, the remainder of our articles for this week. And mm -hmm. have fun. Enjoy your week. God bless you guys. See ya. See you later. Oh, yeah.